The other thing that I like to do is pattern a behavior of resting near the mounting block. I'll show you what I mean. So I might work with the horse a little bit, maybe circling, maybe moving the hindquarters and bringing the front end through. Of course, horses are like us. They don't want to do this forever. So they start to think to themselves, what do I do to stop this, to take a break? So I just step up on the mounting block. Maybe at the same time she brings me the saddle. So we stop here. Maybe I leave her alone and just stand here. And I'm still aware of the horse. Now, I could, I could pretend I'm checking my saddle and I could make sure everything's adjusted right. I could, I could reach down and just feel the girth, the cinch, make sure my cinch is tight. And then I might step down, leave that mounting block. Maybe do a little bit of work. Work on coming forward, slowing down. Having the horse come to me, stop, back. Lead the front end through, send her off. And as I step up on the block, I can see she's looking at me and she goes, you know what, I wouldn't mind taking a break. I think I'll bring the saddle to you. And I think that's great. Get really nice and easy and pleasant for her to bring me the saddle. I might tip her attention in my direction because she's lively. Sometimes they get a little bit close. So I'll just see if I can direct some life at her saddle at the girth, cinch, see if she'll move over. Now give me the saddle again, but don't get too close. That's better. Little change there licking and chewing. We'll move her over a little bit more. That's better. I'd take that. That wouldn't be, wouldn't be so bad. Bring her attention towards me. So much of this is just like I'd be doing or will be doing when I'm up on her back. So that's, that's pretty nice. One more time. We'll settle in. Settle in with the saddle here. Sometimes I'll let her know she did the right thing. I'll dr relax my posture, get a little slouchy, and they'll drop their head. Bring my posture down. You can see if I do that and I direct a little life, a little attention downward, she directs her attention down, see? Good, if I were standing tall, she'd be more alert, head up. Bring her attention to me, slight, just slightly. Put my right hand up here, see if I can have that head down low. Rub the ears. My attention is still up. I'm not just focused on her. I'm able to look at you. I'm able to look at the barn. Oh, her head's almost too low for that. Now, would I always bridle her down here? No, no, I wouldn't. But I just want to show you how potentially that it could be done. In all reality, I'd like her head to be about right here. But sometimes we exaggerate to teach and refine as we go when we work with horses. All right, let's put a soft feel on the bit. A lot of people don't understand when we ask a horse to back or move over, what is it that we're looking for? What is it that you'd like to feel? Do you want to feel a contact, a connection, a pressure? What I'm waiting for right here is just a soft, weightless sort of feel back. So if I pick up on the reins, good. She, she gets ready. She should lift the shoulder back up and just a soft feel on the rein, good. I'll rub that forehead. So when I'm working with her, I'd like to just make every moment quality because she's so young that it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter if I get on and, and ride her and jump her and work on Cavaletti or it does, that doesn't really matter at this point. If I have a bad experience, just think about what that does. You put something into that horse that you can never take back. So, 
when you're working with your horse, go for quality moments. I'm just going to make sure she could come around and present me the saddle, but in a, in a way that's just right. There we go. And you can see some of that high headed, high headedness in there, the energy in the life. She's got quite a bit of life. I would like to see her attention come around. Now the ear and the eyes on me. And now I might step on. Now since